Today I'm going to be reviewing the Faber-Castell graphite aqua, I'm not even going to try to say that, water soluble graphite pencils and doing a demonstration with them of this Raven. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. I recently picked up these water soluble pencils. I was so excited to try them out. I paid $8, actually I paid less than that because I had a 40% coupon, but they're very inexpensive for a set of five pencils and it came with a paintbrush. The way that these pencils work, you apply them just like you would normal graphite, but when you take that paintbrush, dip it in some water, it turns the graphite into almost a watercolor feel. You can get such cool effects with this stuff. I was a bit concerned that I wouldn't have enough variation in the pencils in this set with only having five because normally I use a large set. This one came with HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, and 8B. Turns out I only really use the HB, the 8B, and I think I used the 4B a couple of times. Definitely you have everything that you need in this one set which makes it probably the most inexpensive medium that I have purchased in a very long time. Now for the damask background, I didn't record most of that because I actually worked with the paper in my lap so that I could have the control. I used a stencil and I didn't feel like sharing the recording of my lap. That's just weird. But you guys are smart. You can figure out how to use a stencil. But I used my HB pencil for that, shaded it all in, and then went over it with water and that paintbrush. If you are supporters over on Patreon, the one hour version of this video is available for you now, complete with voiceover. So now let's get on to the demonstration and I will tell you more about these pencils as I work. Once I got my stencil all blocked in there, I started on the Raven's Eye. I used the 8B lead. This is the very, very dark one. The one thing that I found with this is that once you apply water with the paintbrush, you really can't erase the graphite very well. So it's going to work better if you leave the light areas showing and just slowly build up to your darker areas as needed. I'm letting my pencil brush marks show and I am moving those in the direction of the feathers. In between each layer of blending out with paint, or I say paint thinner because I'm used to colored pencil, but blending out with water and then switching back to pencil, make sure you let your paper dry all of the way. If you try to work the pencil over a wet area, it won't really do much, but it can damage your paper. The paper that I'm using here is Fabriano Artistico Extra White Hot Pressed 140 pound watercolor paper that needs a shorter name. This paper handled the, wa the wet medium so well. I was really happy because it was smooth enough to get the detail, but it was thick enough not to really be bothered by using so much water. So for the back feathers, same thing as the rest of it, make sure they're going in the right direction. And at first I'm going to loosely block in all of the feathers. Once I get all of this blocked in and blended out, I'm going to come back through and start adding detail. But again, I can't stress them enough. Start lighter than you're gonna need to go and to work your way up to the darker areas because it's really hard to fix an area that you went too dark on. These pencils, because of the way that they blend with water, you're gonna be able to get a lot of really nice effects with them, just completely different than what you would have with your typical graphite pencils. Whether that be wanting drops running, the lines going through the computer screen right now are not your computer, that's my video camera. Sorry about that, that'll stop in a minute. But I found you could get great watercolor looks or the dripping water look if that's what you're going for. Really nice stuff with this. The 8B pencil, while it's not as dark as what I would usually use number wise when it comes to graphite pencils, because of the way that you're able to layer it, they were it, it got so much darker than any other graphite that I've ever used. I would get it on there really dark, let it dry, go over it, wet it again with the water, and repeat that until I got it as dark as I wanted. The thing that I really liked about this is that when I use graphite pencils and I get a lot of areas this dark where I've done tons of layering, the paper ends up having quite a bit of a shine to it. These, once you add the water, there is no shine. I loved that about these, which also made it photograph really well. If you've tried to photograph your graphite work, you know that can be a bit of a pain. I'm going back through now and hyping up my contrast everywhere. I don't want it to all be mid-range. I want to get some definite darks in there. But I started out lighter than I thought I was going to need to go, just in case. I'm better defining my feathers. Now I am using the HB pencil and I'm going around the edge of the raven, creating a bit of a shadow there. For the flowers, I would recommend, think of them in terms of abstract shapes because if you're trying to create it, each individual flower petal, it gets kind of confusing and they look really weird. But if you look at it as an abstract, much easier to get the shapes of the highlights and shadows that you need. 
So I'm using the HB pencil to get my first layer, blended that out with water, let it dry 100% before I started back in with the pencil. Now, the dry time is kind of long, longer than I'm used to when using colored pencil and paint thinner. That dries almost instantly. This, I really had to let it dry for 10 minutes or so between layers. That way I did not damage my paper. Now notice that my paper is taped all the way around the edges. This keeps it from warping. So when I use so much water where the paper starts to buckle a little bit, it will dry back perfectly flat into shape as long as I've got that tape down. With the exception of some paper, which is lower quality, like the colored pencil paper from Strathmore. Now I'm building up even more contrast in my flowers. I've switched to either the 4B, the H 6B, or the HB. I'm not sure which I'm using there. And I'm just slowly building that up. I don't wanna go too dark too soon. I would rather be way lighter than I need to go and go back and darken it than the other way around. Much like with working in colored pencil. Blending that out with the water again. Now I turned the camera off each time I waited for it to dry so it looks like I worked right away. I didn't. There I'm adding a bit of ink tents to pull out that teal color or add a teal color to those flowers. Sorry again for the lines, that's my camera. The ink tents worked so perfectly with these water soluble graphite pencils. I was so excited. This was one of the funnest mediums I've worked in in a very long time. And that is it. So I would love to hear if you guys have tried these pencils, I would love to hear what your experience was with them. Thanks for watching. Again, if you're supporters over on Patreon, the one hour version of this video is available for you guys now, complete with voiceover. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, social media tips for artists each Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, all those social media sites, the links are below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the social media vlog. Right after I purchased these, my first little five minute test with them, I drew some grapes on some scratch paper. I honestly, literally squeed. Anyone who doesn't know what that is is going to think it sounds messy. I think I'm going to use these to do a tutorial on drawing hair. Yeah, pretty sure that's going to be happening soon.